All right, what's up, guys? Today we're going to be doing the 2016-2017 uh, sophomore class election interviews. We're first going to start off with the sophomore president candidates. <laughs> All right, Tyler, so if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, what position you're running for, and uh, why you want to run for that position. Okay, uh, so my name's Tyler Ditto. I'm running for sophomore class president of the class of 2019. Um, some things I'm hoping to do for next year is I'm hoping to add in more spirit weeks because I, I I think that those are really fun and they're a good way to get kids pumped for this school week and um, having them to want to come to school and um, I, I'm also hoping to make a, a good difference a difference in the school for the better and um, make next year lit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Um. So if you could be any character from a TV show or movie, who would you be and why? I would be Nacho Libre because I want to win. I'd be Jack Black. All right. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so, um, being a president takes a lot of focus, a lot of patience, and something that um, takes a lot of patience and focus is Kendama. So, we want to see if you can <laughs> do it. Thank you so much for your time. Um, good luck in the election. Thank you, Jack. Yep. Okay, so our second candidate is Liam Festa. So if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, what position you're running for, and why. All right, well, uh, hi. Like you said, my name's Liam Festa. I'm running for sophomore class president. And I'm running because I feel I can uh, have a lot of positive influence uh, for next year while we're running, and I have a lot of leadership. Experience, so I'm definitely not new to something like this. So, what is something that you want to try and accomplish next year if you do become president? Okay, well, I've asked a lot of uh, you guys, the student body, um, what you think needs change for next year, and I've definitely listened. I know a lot of you, uh, y yourself, I'm sure, enjoy the dances, right? Yeah, the little parties are good. Uh, I feel, however, though, um, there weren't enough of them, and they weren't as organized as they could be. So. If, Next year, I would definitely make sure there were a lot more parties and that they were yeah. more organized. Also, I know um, a lot of people, they're getting tired of this old technology, and I would definitely definitely introduce new technology into the classrooms, uh, because I'm just going to be honest now, the cows need to be taken out to pasture. They're, they're, they're pretty old. Um, also, uh, the communication is pretty poor but, uh, about the event dates, so I figure if we were to, um, I would make sure that next year every student would be able to know when events are. Because myself this year, I found myself not knowing when some stuff is, and I yeah. just found out about it after. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then also, another thing was I know a lot of high schools in the area, they have, they're able to use their cell phones during uh, passing periods and at lunch. Mm -hmm. So when I'm president, I'll work hard to, uh, so we can use our phones during lunch and the passing times. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, so now uh, a serious question. Okay. We'll get past the jokes. All right. If you could be any cereal, what would you be? Oh man. And why? That's a tough one. That's really, that's a tough one. I'd have to say, uh, I'd like to be Cocoa Buffs. Cocoa I think Buffs. because, I think everyone likes Cocoa Buffs. Yeah? I think, you know, they're good with milk, and then after you get a drink, the chocolate milk. So, mm -hmm. I think that's, yeah, they're good. Right on. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Liam Festa, one of the candidates for sophomore class president. And remember, It'll be a fiesta when you vote for Festa. All right, so for our last class president candidate, we have David Lambert. If you'd like to come in. Hey there, Jackson, how are you? Hey, I'm good, how are you? Good. Yeah. All right, so we have a couple questions for you. Yeah, shoot away. So I want to know just a little bit about you, um, mm -hmm. why you're running for this position, and what you think you could accomplish while being class president next year. I'm glad you asked because, well, for one, I'm David Lambert. I was the president this year and uh, I'm looking forward to a great year next year. And the reason why I'm running for this position is because by working so closely with the ASB, with you, 
with the other members of the delegation down here and up at the high school, I was able to see just what exactly we need to fix. Because our problems aren't on a municipal level. We need to go deeper than just saying, hey, there's an event that needs this. We need to help the core of West Valley to help us become the school that we want to be. When I look at us as a school, I like what we stand for, but I think we can be so much more. Already this year, I remember I was so nervous starting off because I was wondering if I'd be accepted, you know? Mm -hmm. I was worried that I couldn't handle the responsibility. However, I found that not only are this year's classmen really accepting and really bolstering of everything we try and stand for here, but so are our upperclassmen. Mm -hmm. And I think that through building a relationship with them, through building a relationship with those who have come before me, I hope to sit, um, come after them, to succeed them, so that I could carry on what West Valley could do, so that we can become the better West Valley that we all hope to achieve. And I think that we're, we'd be able to do that through closer interaction with organizations such as the clubs, which are our greatest untapped potential. And right now, I only see them working in the House the or the Senate. It's both of those organizations that need to come together to promote a bigger and stronger West Valley Associated Student Body. To emphasize what Corbin said in his speech, ASB for all purposes stands for all students belong. Mm -hmm. So we need to make West Valley another ramp again. Great answer. All right. Let's see if you can uh, top the top Ooh. this answer. Ooh. Roll up the uh, question. Uh, um, so, if you were in a movie or a TV show, uh, who would you be? Ooh. That's a tough one. You know, I'd like to say that I would be Rick from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Because really, he's the group leader. Mm -hmm. He not only tries to help everybody out with their individual problems but he helps them as a team. He builds them up, he gets them out and about, and without Rick, they did, wouldn't survive. Throughout the first four seasons, there was not only drama in that show, there was the constant struggle of life to try and survive through the undead world. Well, we aren't living there in West Valley right now. Not yet. I'd, <laughs> I'd like to think that I could be Rick. I'd like to think that I could help sure. West Valley become the strongest group. All right, thank you so much, David. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Very good luck with the rest Jackson. of the uh, yeah. candidates. All right, so now we have the vice president candidates for uh, next year. Um, first off, we have Emily Shell. Hello. Hey, so could you just tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to run for this position? Um, I'm Emily Shell, and I'm running for this position because I'm a good leader. As I've been told, I have leadership qualities, I'm hardworking, and I work well under pressure. All right. Um, if so if you were to become um, vice president for next year, what is something you'd try and accomplish? I would try getting more kids involved in Spirit Week because last or a couple weeks ago we had the Earth Spirit Week, which the word didn't get out quickly enough and hardly anybody participated in it. So I think just making sure students know what's going on. Yeah. So if you were to be in one movie or a TV show, what would it be and why? I would be Zach Bagans from Ghost Adventures because he's a good leader. He has all leadership qualities. He loves what he does, and he has a good team behind him. Good answer, good answer. All right, thank you, Emily, and good luck. Thank you. Thanks. All right. That didn't help. So our second candidate for vice president uh, for next year as sophomore class is Kaylee Moen. So if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, why you're running for this position, and what you want to try and accomplish next year. All right, my name is Kaylee Moen. I am currently the freshman vice president and I would really like to be the sophomore vice president because I really enjoyed the experience this year. I had a lot of creative ideas this year and I executed them, I think, pretty well and I would really like to do that again next year. All right, good answer. All right so being vice president takes a lot of leadership and um, often, uh, heroes have a lot of leadership and impact on students like us. So who is a hero of yours? Um, my hero is my mom because she has a lot of impact on my decisions and she always holds me accountable for my actions and she always believes in me no matter what. Okay, so if you could be any cereal, what would you be? 
If I could be a cereal, I would be Cheerios because I'm good for everyone's heart. Kill <laughs> 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 me. All right. Okay. Thank you, Kaylee. Yep. Thanks, Jack. Good luck. <laughs> thanks. Yep. Okay. All right. So our only <laughs> our only candidate for treasurer is Peyton Jones. So she got the job. So you can't really. That's what you got. All right. Jesus Christ. So uh, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Why you are running for this position and what you want to accomplish next year? Um, I'm running for this position because I love being involved with leadership and I love being involved with the school. Um, I'm very efficient and hardworking, and that goes really well with the job of being treasurer. All right. Um, so who do you think a hero of yours is? Um, my hero. Mm, probably Jen Trammell. I love her. She's like my second mom. Okay, so if you could be any cereal, what would you be and why? <laughs> okay, I would be Kellogg's Crave because they're really black on the inside, but just a golden brown on the outside. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time and uh, congratulations on getting the thank you. job. <laughs> Alright, so I lost my blazer. I'm not blazing, I'm still blazing it up, whatever. We have our secretary candidates. Candidate. Um, it's only one person, she already got it. Sydney Remsburg, you're warm welcome. What's up, Sydney? Hi, Jack. Um, all right, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself, why you wanted to run for secretary, and what you are hoping to accomplish for next year? Um, I wanted to run for secretary because I really want to be involved with the school and help make all of our events and social things next year really good and fun. And I think I, I'm bringing um, enthusiasm and creativity and humor. A lot of humor. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so if you could be any cereal, a wide variety of cereal, what would you be? Um, I would be Frosted Flakes because on the inside I get the job done and I'm hardworking, but on the outside I'm sweet and funny. I'm frosted with it. <laughs> is, is Frosted Flakes hardworking? Yeah. Alright, um, thank you so much for your time. Okay, you want to play some Sure. I don't know how to do it. Go, go cup, little cup, base cup. Oh! It's not as cool as a back burner. Right, how do I do it? Oh! <laughs> no, base cup, base cup. What's that? This thing? Do no, I hold it differently? Not, no, not really. Not have to. Oh. No! Oh! Alright, good job. I'm out. That sucked. Killed it. So up next we have one of our few candidates running for social chair for next year. Um, first up is Catherine Whitman. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself, why you're running, and what you think you could accomplish for next year? Um, so I'm running for social chair because having been social chair this year, I learned about working with others and being a part of leadership. It was a really enjoyable experience and I would love to do it next year. And I feel like I would be a good social chair because I'm creative and that's really important because coming up with new ideas is essential for social chair. And also I'm hardworking and enthusiastic of every activity and project. All right. So if you were, uh, if you could be any character in either a movie or TV show, who'd you be and why? I would probably be Hannah Montana because she always gets the best of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I recently heard that you uh, created a new kendama trick. So we're gonna put um, it to the test. We're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna see. Uh, God, tell us what the name of the trick is, and uh, let's see you get it. Okay, it's called back burner. Back burner. All right. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Okay. Oh, oh, first time! <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's the, the back burner. Alright, right on. Thank you, Catherine, so much for your time and uh, good luck. Thank you. So now we have our second candidate for social chair for next year. So if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, 
um, why you want to run and what you think you can accomplish for next year. All right, um, I'm Addison Burns and I'm running for sophomore class social chair. Um, I'm running because I am really I really like leadership class and being involved in the school, and I'm really energetic and enthusiastic, and I like to be someone that people look up to and um, make the school a better place and a place people or students like to come to every day. All right. Um, so if you were, if you could be an actor or actress in any TV show or movie, what would it be and why? Um, I would be Meredith Grey because Grey's Anatomy is my favorite Netflix series and I don't know, I like surgery and blood and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time and thank good you. luck. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, so now we have another candidate for social chair for next year. Um, Corey, if you could just tell us a little about yourself, why you're running, and why you think you'd be good. Um, so, I'm Corey Wyckoff, and I'm running for sophomore class social chair. And I'm running because I love being involved in leadership, and I have a lot of fun and creative ideas that I can bring to the table, and I would love to see them executed. So if you could be um, in any movie or TV show, what would it be, and why? I would be Louise from Bob's Burgers because she always has a plan and she always accomplishes that plan and she always gets things done. Good answer. Do you have any heroes? Yes, I have a hero and it is my sister because she is everything that I would want to be when I'm older and she has set out to be a lot of things and now she is those things and she has accomplished a lot in her life. I, I saw. Mean, you can just edit it out. Thanks. Alright. Alright, so another candidate we have for social chair for next year is Mahalo Wells. Um, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, why you're running, and what you can bring to the table if you are. Alright, um, I am running for social chair because being part of ASB has, uh, this year has really opened up my eyes to how much the school depends on ASB mm -hmm. and all the events, and I would love to be a part of that. And some of the things I'd like to bring to sophomore social chair is bringing in more social social events such as like Ramapalooza. We need more like school events where people are wanting to come to school and just like hang out with your friends and also yeah. a lot more dances and just like not have it be based on having to find a date and just more like just ha hanging out with your yeah, friends. Yeah, sure. Good answer. Um, so if you could be any character in a TV show or movie, who would you be and why? I would honestly be Christina Yang because Danielle is my Meredith Grey. She's my person. Who's Christina Yang? She is a cardio surgeon at um, a hospital and she's really good. And I honestly, um, I would like to become a doctor yeah. one day, not a cardio, but more like just in the medical field. Yeah. So is that Grey's Anatomy? It is Grey's Anatomy. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. Um. So that's all I have for questions. Is, do you want to test out this condom? I've never been good at this, but hopefully. Yeah, just try and catch it on a catch it on the spike, maybe. Uh, no. Here, hold like the, the, there you go. Actually, no. We'll get you, we'll get you spike right now. First try. Ready? Hold on, hold on. So you gotta hold it like this okay. and just yank it up. Oh, watch. All right, second try. <laughs> wait, 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 no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Three hours later. All right, okay, no, all right, well, nice try. Thanks. Of course. <laughs> all right, thank you, uh, Mahalo Wells, and good luck. Thank you. All right, guys, so, got my third outfit on. Got to mix up a bit. And <laughs> anyway, we have our... <laughs> We have another candidate for uh, social chair for next year. Um, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, why you're running, and why you think you'd be um, good in this position. Well, my name is Daniela Mew. I am running for sophomore social chair. The main reason I am running for sophomore social chair is because I want to be a leader that the students can trust. I want to be one of the very few students that get this privilege of having a position ASB such as sophomore social chair not take it for advantage. I want to actually listen to the voice of the student body and fulfill their desires. All right. Um, 
So if you could be any cereal, what would you be and why? I'm gonna have to go with the R double E S C S Reese's Puff Yo. Alright. Uh this is Danielle Lemieux. Um, thank you for your time and good luck. Okay, there you go. Right on. So now we have our last candidate for social chair for next year. Um, if you could just tell us a little about yourself, why you're running, and why you think you'd be good in the spot. Um, my name is Stephen Dre. Uh, I'm running for sophomore social chair, and uh, I run varsity track. And you know, I'm running because I feel like I have a lot to offer for this position because running. I have a lot of Sorry. yeah, because <laughs> I have a lot to offer in this. <laughs> In this job because I have new fresh ideas and I want to listen to your guys's voice so that I can you know uh, be able to put what you guys want into into our school so yeah all right um if you could be any character from a TV show or movie who would you be and why uh, I would be Andy from Parks and Recreation because I uh, screw things up but it end up ends up being good in the end all right Okay, we're gonna have you try a little bit of Kandama. You know what this is, right? Yes, I do. Alright, let's see if you can, uh, well, I suck. Slay the Dom. Ready? Ugh. Let's see if I can do this first try. No! Ooh. Alright. <coughs> Andy, you suck. Just kidding. Just kidding. No. Oh, alright, see, I suck. Third try. Third try's the best. There we hey! go. There we go. Oh, there. Alright, thank you. And uh, good luck with the rest of the right. um, race. What the? <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the race.